What's up friends, this is Manny and welcome to the ultimate outshone in being the new hawk in the game because this is going to be your anti-titan robot going forward no longer the hawk because the hawk as we know barely has any time to fly and the damage is not really that great anyways and physical shield block the laser and whatever right there's a million reasons why the hawk can't do its job anymore the new our chun in ultimate version however will um while it doesn't really do a lot of damage against regular robots with its flamethrower or at least not as much it's Still going to be a lot of damage but it will not instantly kill uh, a regular robot but it gets damage boosts uh, or performance be benefits against titans and uh, that actually makes a massive difference as you're going to see here it is a situation where i'm going to attack a couple of titans with uh, the auchon i also wanted to test it here on the test server with uh, some uh, DKs or, or what's the heavy version called here? Um, but look at the damage that the Heimdall is going to take. Okay, at first it didn't look too good. Maybe I didn't hit him very well. Hold on. Landing in the lava is maybe not the best landing spot. Uh, but we're gonna redo that attack run. And then just look what I'm doing to pull Heimdall then. That is a max level Heimdall Titan. And we're gonna be able to uh, basically drop him to 30%. Look at this. The flamethrower is on him, and look how quick he goes down. Jeez, look at this. That is insane, man. That was one flight, and he lost 90 to 30 percent health, or 95 to 30 percent, right? Um, from 95 to 30 percent, that's correct now. And obviously, look at the short cooldown of the Aochun. Two, three, hobbly boop, and I'm back in the air and uh, you know whooping the rest out of him. In this case, I guess he gets back in cover. Good for him. Lucky for him. I would have killed him here. Um, but uh, yeah, that is uh, that is very surprising to see that the hawk basically is no longer what you use against titans. But now it's going to be the ultimate Ao Chun. This is going to be a serious problem for you if you're playing a titan and the Ao Chun begins to fly. And that is probably also why you may want to have... A quantum sensor going forward on your titans at least one of them right which gives you when it's max level 350 meters anti-stealth so you can fight back against the Aochun and once he knows that he's getting shot back he may want to play a little different maybe not engage you because you as a titan still have more firepower altogether and you can drop him out and he's gonna see that you have quantum radar um, when he, you come in 350 meters range However, I believe the, the flamethrower on the Aochun Ultimate is going to have actually 500 meters range. If I read this correct, I've, I've seen it and it seemed like it, it, um, it fires at 500 meters range. And that means that even that part is now more like the Hawk, right? With his Hawk laser. Um, however, of course, the flamethrowers are traveling slower. See, I'm firing at over 400 meters with my flames uh, and I was able to send the flames in there. Uh, but... Yeah, it's, it's not going to kill directly because the flames travel uh, a little slower uh, than, you know, than, for example, the laser obviously does. Um, the thing is, though, I wonder how does, how, how could Pixonic explain that the flamethrowers reach 500 meters or far? Many rockets, may, even though they have literal engines that propel the explosive by themselves, they only have 300 meters range, yet somehow the flamethrower gets to keep its performance at 500 meters how here you can see the Aochun to the left firing at the Eiffel to the right and basically crossing <laughs> the entire ma uh, map with his flamethrowers it's a little curious but look when we fire at a Dagon which is a very heavily armored and shielded robot you can see he's taking a lot of damage from that uh, so the Aochun will not just be good in ultimate form against Titans you will also be able to drop Titans uh, uh, regular robots incredibly fast with it um, and Titans are just gonna have to really be afraid as well um, I'm gonna have to phase shift here but I don't think I'm gonna live for much longer with that thing um, again on the test server so we're really slow I've recently just made a video uh, telling you about the um, this nostalgia that the test server creates a little more because of the ability to um, you know that, that you're not so fast because the game feels a little bit more like it used to with a bit slower um, uh, yeah, slower feel to it. Here, I hit the uh, enemy Eiffel for just a split second there, and I did like 10% damage with a flamethrower. So this is going to be insane, especially against slower titans that can't move away. 
Um, but yeah, so let's just have a little bit of fun also with the ultimate version of the regular flamethrowers on, uh, for example, a leech, right? Decided to run the old leech here with uh, the ultimate blaze and igniter. And obviously as an ultimate weapon, very dangerous. And even titans can take a lot of damage from this. Um, I have to be a little careful, of course. But let's wait out the uh, ability here. And there's a Heimdall. We can attack him or... Yeah, okay, let's go for the Heimdall for the moment. I'm gonna leech him. Alright, and see, the Heimdall is dropping really, really well from those flames. And I'm not taking too much damage through my resistance. Because, mm, uh, yeah. Oh gosh, he's got stealth. Uh, I didn't even bother equipping a more powerful uh, battleship here. I have the starting standard battleship, the... Uh, equipped here on the test server. I didn't even um, equip something better to it, but uh, everybody else did. They have stealth, they have freaking targeting malfunctions and lockdown and whatever. It's crazy. Alright, come on, dude. Move out. We're uh, losing this match, even though right now it looked like it's better, but it's not over yet. We're turning one beacon back. This guy went around the corner. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's a Dagon. You think I can drop the full Dagon there? Uh, with uh, half my igniters re uh, re left Yep, I can because there's so much firepower in these igniters when you hit and that is the hard part is actually Hitting that moving target if he had changed his movement direction uh, I would have probably missed half my shots because it's impossible to predict that uh, And then I, I would have probably not been able to kill him, but he kept his same movement direction uh, going so uh, My once established perfect pre-aim was able to keep hitting him all the time so that guy, he just gets shot and then he decides to jump away. Hmm. And this guy, he's not shooting me, which is good. I'm glad he doesn't. Uh, so let's see what we can do against him. And look how much he's dropping. How much damage he's taking, that Eiffel Titan, until he da dashes, da dashes away. Can we get the, uh, the guy here? Ah, okay. Match ended. All right. Boop. Next one. Back into our ultimate Aochun. Um, I, I mean, I, I like that the Aochun is cool again, the flying dragon, right? It's just that it comes back in form of an ultimate item um, that uh, forces you to start from scratch upgrading and obtaining a new robot, even though you may already have an Aochun fully leveled and you were waiting to hop back into your ner uh, uh, buffed Aochun and enjoy the buff, right? But no. No, this counts as a new robot and you have to level it from scratch. You have to obtain the thing first somehow and uh, and, and by doing so they bypass all investments and spendings you have, may have done on the original Aochun. And that is just such a shady move. And it's really shame on you, Pixonic, for this absolute garbage uh, of, a, uh, of, of a business and pra a practice that you're following here. Mm, it's just uh, uh, so unfair. And it's just a slap in the face for all your loyal long-term players. All those of you who have, uh, those of the players who've been there for a long time and are still with War Robots. So you, you know, and and though, who have fully maxed out chuns, you know what should have? You should be able to simply convert your fully maxed out chun to an ultimate version, maybe for uh, one upgrade token or something, right? Uh, that would uh, that would be a fair move. Uh, and it would feel great for those of you who are uh, loyal players for such a long time, right? You would feel valued, you would feel uh, rewarded. But no, that's not Pixonic's thing, to reward you for being a loyal long-time player. It's not, it's not happening. And it's such a great, this would be such a great opportunity for them, for, for Pixonic, to give you as a long-term player this awesome feeling of, uh, and re of reward. For sticking with the game for so long. Here, you're there for three years, you have a freaking maxed Aochun, boom, enjoy your ultimate one for free, right? Or for one little upgrade token or a tiny investment uh, bonus, and you get to uh, to have that ultimate version. And then you even have motivation to start upgrading it from again, right? You'll get the Mark three. Uh, no, you get the level uh, one ultimate version, right? So you'll be tempted to start pumping some new resources into it and upgrade it maybe but at least you'll have the robot to start with right it's just a missed opportunity in my opinion to to give something back and uh, to uh, 
provide those of you who are long-lasting players with a pr feeling of proudness uh, and and uh, feeling valued and rewarded. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's destroy an Eiffel Titan with our ultimate uh, igniters uh, or. What's it called? I think the Igniters are the medium versions. We're taking a lot of damage too, but look what I'm doing to this Eiffel Titan. He made the mistake of landing there and he's getting slowed. For those who don't know, the ultimate flamethrower slow you down. And if you continuously hitting, hit him like that, he gets so slow he can barely move at all. And that is basically how I can kill him even easier because he can no longer move away from my flames, right? Uh, unless he dashes. Here was a smart move with my um, little uh, Pursuer to teleport back right under him. Because he's in the air, he has heavy resistance and I can't really fight him, but I can teleport back to my point of origin that was exactly under him, where he loses me out of sight for a second and he can't target me because he's, I'm exactly under him where you can't shoot and target. And that was an awesome move. Pursuer is still a really interesting little robot, uh, a good beacon capper. Um, and uh, probably one of the next ultimate robots coming into the game. I could imagine it. I mean, I don't know anything about what they're planning, but I could imagine because the Pursuer is just old enough to make it back as an ultimate version next and adding some awesome new features to it or power, I don't know. But yeah, get ready for the new uh, Hawk being an ultimate outshone in War Robots soon. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.